Martin, um, thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing your personal and profession professional knowledge and experiences. So we have a plenty of questions uh, regarding to our project, uh, Valuable Creativity. So let's start with the trends and best practice. Um, my first question is, uh, it is clear that the creativity as a skill can be developed through coaching and different kind of trainings. So you must have uh, attended a large number of trainings. So maybe can you mention one of the training or one of the technique that impressed you and uh, just briefly say what's the technique about? Yeah, I think uh, there is there is a lot of trainings where um, where you actually profile people and you try to discover what kind of profiles you have within your team. And I think um, um, I think from from those which I've been through, um, uh, we used to have um, one profiling training where we also were recording recording ourselves on on the video cameras. And I think that um, uh, it was a, for many people it was a really good eye opener uh, when they've seen themselves uh, behaving in various mm -hmm. uh, type of situations. And I think we in this particular training we were maybe more focused on the communication skills, uh, but uh, but it also um, showed um, how people uh, were able to be open, honest, uh, and and which of those people were. Uh, were uh, within their comfort zone or out of their comfort zone and uh, we were also profiling uh, people who are more uh, more creative or those on another hand who um, who simply uh, like to follow certain uh, manuals guidelines uh, they want to be told what they have to be doing and I think it's always good to be aware uh, b before before you um, before you, when you want to support creativity, I think you need to be aware <coughs> who from your team is really that mm -hmm. profile and that person. And sometimes, maybe within the small things, you know, uh, know it by uh, spending time with people. But maybe in a larger scale of of uh, having fifty plus uh, mm -hmm. people in the in, in the company, um, it's maybe good to uh, to focus on the profiling and really. Uh, bring someone from the outside to uh, to help you to identify really those who um, uh, who can be most creative from the team. As you mentioned, definitely the creativity or the essential aspect of creativity is communication. And if you have really good idea, then it's really necessary to present the idea uh, to the team. So uh, let's talk about the uh, COVID pandemic, which affected our lives. Uh, from many different aspects. Uh, one of them as a, in workplace is a, a human interaction. Uh, so this is the direct uh, contradiction to the needs of improving productivity and creativity. So could you give us some tip or trick uh, how you personally encourage or here in, a, in your company encourage the creativity in those challenging times? when the human interaction is basically yeah. I think I think we were I think we were lucky that we uh, we put together a, a team in um, in uh, either the first wave or the second uh, the first wave was a little bit different but but later on in the end of 20 and early 21 um, we were having a team which um, really suffered at home and that it didn't want to be at home like nobody everyone was just chasing some papers to have in their hand the confirmation that they have to go to work. <laughs> and e including people who were actually <clears throat> not having kids or families and, and they, could, um, they could have it pretty comfortable at home. Um, I think what we were doing from, from those who, who really wanted to be in the office, I think mainly we were, um, I mean, the safety was, was of course, uh, very important like testing and stuff like this but uh, but nevertheless we we really wanted to have always lunch together in the office we were going on the walks uh, during the day um, even with a colleague who lives uh, nearby to me <coughs> sometimes when we haven't seen each other for a few days been working just online uh, we agreed to go on a short walk or something just to really I think people, I felt like people are looking for any kind of personal interaction with the colleagues, uh, despite that you spoke together like eight times a day, still there was a willingness to 
meet in person and, and have a quick walk or, or anything which is like back to normal. Um, and uh, uh, I think um, encouraging creativity in these times, it's, it's really challenging and it's really, uh, really an issue. And I think that that is coming down to each personality, how they, how they handle it in mm-hmm. their home environment. Mm-hmm. And uh, um, yeah, the creativity I can imagine for many families also has been uh, about how you run uh, two online schools and uh, how you uh, how you work, how your husband or wife work uh, in parallel and, and things like this. So um, I think. Uh, um, okay, thank you. That that was really good, Steve and also. Uh, in those challenging times, people have to open the new doors and try to uh, figure out how to manage the times, as you mentioned. Um, so in your personal opinion, is the creativity or can be the creativity a driver of innovation and therefore the success of the company? Yeah. <coughs> I think when we were mentioning pandemic in previous question, definitely, I think pandemic showed us that the world can change within a few days. Mm-hmm. And I think even during that pandemic, the world was, world was uh, changing too fast for many people who were struggling with that. And uh, on another hand, it created opportunities for those who were, who were able to handle it. And I think, um, I think the, the, the pandemic and overall um, these times are probably... Uh, are probably very favorable for those who can be creative and also are not shy to be creative because I think in many, especially big companies or even corporates nowadays, uh, what kills creativity is, is when the company doesn't have an open culture and doesn't have a company culture supporting creativity because you can have from 10 ideas, uh, five might be um, not working or might be some of them might be uh, sounding crazy or stupid at the first glance but uh, uh, but if if creative person has 10 ideas and one really uh, will be placed in the practice that's exactly what you're looking for so you probably need to find and support people who who will have crazy ideas sometimes uh, and will be able to op- to, to speak about it